Well, howdy, friends. Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and here we are. It's Q&A time. First of all, just wanted to say thanks. The response to this Q&A series has been overwhelming. We have hundreds and hundreds of emails to wade through. We really appreciate it. We're going to get to them as we can, but we appreciate your patience. It's going to take us some time. Also, when you send your question in, in via email, be sure to include your name and address so we can send you out the hat and the fly box uh, on us. So let's jump right in. Uh, Joe P. Wait, hold on one second. Ah, there we go. Joe P. from Sullivan, Missouri. Joe says, I love the YouTube channel. Thanks, Joe. I'm getting back into fly fishing after stepping away for about 15 to 20 years. Your videos have been motivational and refreshing, reminding me what I've been missing. Man, that's great to hear. Thanks a lot, Joe. My question is, at what age is safe is a safe age to get a youngster into fly fishing. My son will be five this spring and is a natural casting his two foot kitty rod from Wally World. Yet he doesn't have the patience to actually fish, he just likes to cast. Are there things I can do to help him transition to a fly rod at his age? And what about rod length? Thanks for your help, keep up the great work. Well, first of all, again, Joe, thanks for the kind words. It's really great to hear um, oh, it's our pleasure to help out. Um, we're going to keep up the great work as long as we can afford it. And um, just appreciate you watching. So, um, you know, I would say a safe age, I think that depends on the kid. Um, I, I get some kids that are five, six, seven years old in some classes sometimes <clears throat> and um, have, have gotten them out fishing. Um, I, for example, started fishing, uh, fly fishing when I was seven years old. I was uh, on a, a trip with my uncle in southern Missouri, a place called Bennett Springs, and caught my first trout on a fly rod when I was seven. So I think it depends on the kid. If they have the patience and the um, understanding, uh, I would say that, uh, that f in no age is too young. I would say get them started. Um, you know, I really don't think there's any particular safe age. Obviously, if you're going to put a fly on the end of the line and have them flinging around, there's some safety issues. So we, we want them to have some skill and make sure they put on glasses and a hat and things like that. But um, I, I would say that I'd get him started. If he's five, you know, five, six, seven, I think that's right in that perfect age. Um, what can you do to help him transition to a fly rod? Check this out. Um, this is a product called TFO called the office rod okay and this thing is not that expensive um, in fact I, I did a YouTube many years ago I think there's probably a link right there on this office rod and this thing is awesome uh, it's an awesome learning tool for adults I use this in my classes uh, we also use this here in the shop to demonstrate fly casting but this is a really cool tool. You put this in a kid's hand, and first of all, it's fun. Uh, they're gonna love doing it, and it can really, really help you learn how to fly cast. In fact, I would highly recommend that you get your hands on one of these office rods, put this in his hands, and I think that's gonna be a great transition um, into uh, fly casting from his, like you say, your Wally World, I'm assuming it's a, a bait caster, or, or excuse me, a, a push button uh, spinning reel type thing. Um, so, and then Joe, your next question about what about rod length? And this is really important. If you remember back to the, the fact that the fly rod is a flexible lever, and the longer the lever, the easier the job. A lot of people believe that a, a short little kid is going to require a short little rod, and that's simply not true. Um, I would say an eight to a nine foot rod for sure. Uh, I think probably if I had to pick one length, it would be eight and a half foot for, even for kids, yes. Fly rod's a flexible lever, give him the most advantage possible. Um, as he gets older, maybe move up to that nine foot rod, but you wanna make sure that it's not too heavy on their hand, so sometimes that eight to eight and a half. I think uh, the Reddington company makes a fantastic little kid's outfit called the Minnow Outfit. And I believe it's an eight foot five weight. It's a rod specially designed for kids. So in that eight to nine foot length, really no different than adults. 
Um, I would say if I had to pick one, I'd go eight and a half. So I, I would say get him started, get yourself. You know what I forgot to mention? If you have cats, this is the world's greatest cat toy, by the way. Drives them crazy. So <clears throat> it serves double duty there. So thanks, Joe. We'll be getting your hat, and you did include your address, so cool. We'll be getting your hat and your fly box out to you real soon. Appreciate the question. All right, another similar question that I thought we'd address this. Duane S. from Renton, Washington. He says, hi, Brian. I have a question for y'all. I have three boys, ages two to six. I grew up fishing, but didn't pick up a fly rod until I was 18. Is there a best age to start little guys fly fishing? I've got them riverbank angling with spinning rods now, but I'd like to move them towards fly fishing soon. What are your tips and tricks for helping the kids along? Uh, once again, get, them get yourself this office rod. Um, get a fly rod in their hands. Uh, just get them out and start practicing casting. And actually with kids, it's pretty easy to teach them. Um, and you really have to stress the fact that it's, it's just a couple of steps. You tell them, pick it up and stop and make sure that they stop. Otherwise, kids just want to go like this, okay? Stress the fact, pick it up and stop and then bring it forward and stop, okay? Um, come up with a little rhyme. I've often used silly little rhymes or with young kids, you, you ask them what they're, uh, if they like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and you tell them to fling peanut butter off the tip of the rod or ask them what their favorite song is and they can sing their favorite song. And what you're trying to do is teach them the rhythm of that stop and go and stop and go. You know, I think another great tip uh, for getting youngsters involved, and there's probably no better way, um, is a, a great stepping stone is a Tenkara. Um, I really can't say enough about it. If you can, get yourself one of these Tenkara rods, especially for the younger, um, for the younger ones, say under five years of age, and it just couldn't be easier. I often say that with a Tenkara rod, where fly casting is kind of counterintuitive, you're going to have to really work with them on that. Tenkara casting is intuitive. You can put this in just about anybody's hand that's even never cast a fly rod before, and they're gonna figure out how to cast it. And this is a fantastic stepping stone to teaching kids the rhythm of the cast, and then it allows them to get out and easily catch some fish on a quote, quote, fly rod. And then you're, you don't have the reel, you don't have the line management issues and things like that going on. So for those of you that aren't familiar, Tenkara rod, plus kids just love this. They can stick it in their pocket and then the telescoping feature, um, the telescoping rod is just cool. They're gonna dig it, you know, fix a line on the end. They don't have to worry about any fancy leaders and 3X this and, um, you know, just tie on a bluegill bug, let them go catch a bunch of, a bunch of fish on a, on a Tenkara rod. And trust me, they're going to be hooked. And it's a really great stepping stone uh, to get them into fly fishing from there. Most of all, make it fun. Uh, make them realize that this is only fishing. It's not serious business. It should be fun. Take them out and get them to catching a bunch of bluegill. Just put on a little bluegill popper, go out and catch them 30, 40 bluegill. And I'm telling you, they're gonna be hooked, okay? I hope that helps. Um, got your addresses here, we'll get you out the hat and the fly box and we really appreciate you chiming in. Um, as always, thanks for watching, that's it for today. Keep those questions coming. If you like what we're doing here on YouTube, share it with your friends, be sure to subscribe. If you really like what we're doing, make sure to go to Mad River Outfitters and share some love so we can continue to afford to do this. So we appreciate you watching. As always, stay tuned. We got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.